The objective of this video is to help you identify conjugates of acids and bases. Every bronsted Lowry acid has something called a conjugate base. We'll abbreviate it capital C, capital B. One way to help identify a conjugate base, it is the acidic substance less one hydrogen ion. So I have two examples to show you. HCl is the acidic substance. Its conjugate base is the chloride ion. So look at the math. Subtract an H from HCl. Of course you have Cl remaining. But you're removing or subtracting a positive from HCl. So when you subtract the positive from a formula, you are in effect adding a negative charge to that remaining formula. It's like subtracting positive 1 from 0. The other example is acetic acid, CH3COOH. After it ionizes, what's left behind is CH3COO- minus, its conjugate base. Conversely, every bronsted lowry base has a conjugate acid, which will abbreviate capital C, capital A. A conjugate acid is the basic substance with an additional hydrogen ion. In the case of CH3O-, its conjugate acid is CH3OH. So let's do the math. Add an H to CH3O-, and then add a positive, and the positive cancels out the negative to make zero. So you end up with a neutral charged substance. If we take a look at a nitrogen containing base, which are covalent compounds, you start off with a neutral substance, NH3 in this case. If we add an H plus to it to form its conjugate acid, we end up with NH4 positive. In this video I'd like to practice some problems to reinforce recognition of bronsted lowry acids and conjugate bases. CN minus cannot be a Bronsted acid because it contains no hydrogens. Therefore, this is the base, and this must be the acid. Now let's compare the formulas from left to right in the equation. This is the base. Its conjugate acid would be this ion plus an H plus. So that would neutralize the negative to make it zero and add an H. So this is the conjugate acid. And if that's the acid and we're confident of that, this must be the conjugate base. And we could also think about it in terms of the definition I gave you. The base, the conjugate base, was the acidic substance less 1H+. Plus. If you remove an H from HS-, minus, you obviously have S, but then it becomes negative 2 because you're removing a positive the formula for the conjugate blank of cyanide is, so if this is the base, the conjugate acid, oops, HCN, and then the formula for the conjugate base is, this is sulfide, Here's another situation where we have a formula not containing a hydrogen. Therefore, this must be the base, and this is the acid. Comparing left side to right side in the equation, because this has one less H than this, this must be the conjugate base of HF, and therefore this is the conjugate acid of SO3 to minus. So the conjugate base of HF is fluoride, and the conjugate acid of sulfite, in this case, is HSO3 minus. Here we have two formulas that have hydrogens. So now we need to be careful to compare the formula is on the left, the formula is on the right. HCO3- minus has one hydrogen. H2CO3 
has two hydrogens. So that means this is the base and this is the conjugate acid because it has one additional hydrogen. Therefore, once we've established an acid or a base with confidence, then we could conclude the other. So the formula for the conjugate acid of HCO3 is H2CO3. And this is the base, which is cyanide. Now let's try a different type of conjugate acid, conjugate base problem. Here we're asked to write the conjugate base for the formula CH3COOH. So the formula for the conjugate base is the, this formula given, less 1H, but we must add a negative sign because we're removing a positive from a neutral compound. Remember, if you subtract positive 1 from 0, it equals negative 1. The formula for the conjugate acid of NO2 minus, well, we're adding an H, so HNO3, NO2, excuse me, because we're adding a positive, that positive is going to cancel the negative. Here, the conjugate base, the formula for the conjugate acid of bromide is HBr. And the conjugate acid of NH3 is NH4 positive. So the conjugate acid for SO3 2 minus is HSO3 minus because we're adding a positive 1 to that negative 2 to give us the minus 1. The conjugate base for HPO4 2 minus is 8 is PO4 3 minus because we're removing a positive 1 to get that negative 3.